I'm Sweet Costa Rica and this is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to apply a low-maintenance long-lasting tongue oil finish. Here are some of the items that you will need. We will be finishing this bare koa wood handle. The paint stripper I use is called soy gel. It is non-toxic and removes paint, oil, urethanes, enamel, latex, etc. Please cover the entire wood. After the wood is dry, sand with 100 grit and 220 grit sandpaper. This removes any leftover oil or dark spots. Give the wood a good washing with denatured alcohol. Let that dry. Step 1. Sealing. You'll want to seal the wood to keep moisture out. Mix a light 3 to 1 formula to get the oil deep into the wood. Use a washcloth or a paintbrush. Allow to dry one day. Step 2. Filling. Filling makes your wood less rough and porous. Cut 1 inch to 2 inch squares out of 220 grit wet or dry sandpaper. Make a slurry and wipe it off. Step 3. Finishing. Okay, after sealing and filling your wood, the next step is finishing the wood. Finishing protects your wood. At least four coats of tongue oil is the minimum of that protection. I like to put about 10 to 12 coats of this oil mixture on it. And the oil mixture is a two to one mixture. I like to go two to one. Some people, it's one to one, but two to one, it dries faster and it's I'd rather have my wood dry and put on mo more coats to be safe. Uh, more coats adds luster and shine to your wood, so it's a good idea to put uh, as many coats as the wood will take, will absorb. Uh, so this is two to one, two parts citrus solvent, one part tongue oil. Uh, you can also use mineral spirits, but mineral spirits is toxic, so you can't use it, you shouldn't use it for uh, like making bowls, wooden bowls, wooden spoons. So I use uh, the natural citrus solvent. And here's how, here's how I do it. You get some of the mixture on your fingers, you rub it into the wood like this. You rub until it's hazy you can see a haze on the wood. Like that, like so. It's pretty easy to do. Just want to make sure that you get it all over the wood. And this is the first coat that I'm putting on. And I plan to put on 10 coats for that maximum protection with this wood here. Okay, it's a little bit hazy. I don't know if you can tell. And you just wipe it off with your towel. Shop towel or any lint-free towel. Rag. And there you go. I started this tongue oil project around May 1st, May 2nd, and I applied 12 coats of this tongue oil finish here. I waited 24 hours between each coat, so it took about 30 days to complete 12 coats. And it came out pretty well. With tongue oil though, you have to wait 30 days for it to cure. So in total, it took 60 days. That's, that can be too long for some folks. But for me, I can wait because you're getting a tough, durable finish with tongue oil. It really brings out this Hawaiian koa woods beauty. See the grain structure, the lines.
it's absolutely nice. You can also add, which I did, wax at the end of that 60 days. I use this Renaissance wax. A little pricey, but it's the best and it, it's really, it's used by museums around the world. It's really good. So this is a matte finish. You can also have glossy finishes. It depends on how many coats you add to your uh, wood. Here's a uh, three-year-old cane, three-year-old finished cane. I, three years I applied 100% uh, pure tongue oil. I topped it off. I, the last two coats I used a uh, form of lease. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Form of lease oil, tongue oil just to add that uh, kick to it to get that glossy look. This is a oak cane. A hickory cane. I also added uh, tongue oil too. This is a hickory cane. A hickory branch cane. Yeah, for me, nothing beats tongue oil. The difference between tongue oil and other finishes is that other finishes, they, they look worse as the years go by. But with tongue oil, it looks better as the years go by. It actually increases the beauty of the wood. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a good day and try tongue oil. I don't think you'll regret it.